The biggest sticking point that was brought up about House Resolution 9 in the House Committee on Criminal Justice today was cost. But some lawmakers say this resolution doesn't cost a thing. And that's because it doesn't actually require the JPSO to use body worn camera. It just asks them to create a policy on one day wearing those body cameras, storing the videos, and responding to the public request for footage. One of the things that they want to work through are those budget concerns. Representative Valio from Kenner estimated storage of the footage would cost JPSO 10 to $12 million a year, which she said is half of its operating budget. Representative Lyons, who authored the bill, said not having those cameras is costing people their lives. People from Jefferson Parish were speaking up too, including a man who said he ran from deputies at Tuesday's protest on the West Bank Expressway. And never at, in a, at a moment in my life did I think I was going to lose my life except for that moment. And when the people that they were running behind, when they just yelled, run, I, ran across, I went across my better judgment and ran into traffic just not to be uh, affected by police officers who were grabbing them on their hip and running after people. There's something systemic about this issue that needs to change. House Resolution 9 heads to the House floor next week where it would become official if it's signed by the Speaker of the House. Sheriff Joe Lapinto here at JPSO was not at today's committee meeting. He declined my request for an interview on this today. Reporting live in Metairie, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.